Christine here with the Health and Happiness Hacks Wellness Show. This week's show, I have Denise. She's actually one of the Eco Chateau Mm -hmm. team members. She's a massage therapist. Sometimes you see her working at the front desk. A Jill Mm -hmm. of all trades. Such a talented person. I'm so excited to have her on. Um, She'll especially talk about a a, a workshop she has coming, a retreat actually in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. It's in April next year, right? Yeah. April 2018 is the retreat. Yay. Um, So yeah, yeah. tell the viewers about that first. Let's start with that. First of all, thank you so much for having me on the show. I'm so excited to be here and share my vision with all of you guys. Um, the company is called Sun Soul Retreats. It started after I hosted a retreat in Costa Rica in November 2018. Um, Sun Soul Retreats is really a company that we host yoga and wellness retreats in sacred parts of the earth um, for deep intentional healing and dynamic nourishment. So. When you come with us, it's going to be a full sensory journey. Um, You're going to be healing on all different levels. We want to inspire Americans to step out of their comfort zone and see different parts of the world. We are definitely the less traveled country. Um, Is that true? Really? Americans are the the least? They travel them out? Yeah. The least amount of time? The least amount, yeah. Wow. Um, So I know people that are living here in San Diego, and they've never even gone to Mexico still. And they're 20 minutes away from the border, So and they haven't experienced that culture. And there is a lot of it here. That's why I love living in San Diego. Um, But I really want to encourage people to step out of their comfort zone and also really to um, spark their inner child again in that sense of adventure uh, try something new. So not only are you going to detox on the retreat um, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, there's adventure hikes, there's waterfalls, there is chakra balancing massage included, all vegetarian diet. Um, it's actually uh, really family friendly. So you can bring your kids if you want to make it a family trip. If you're young and you want to have drinks after the end of the day, that's totally cool. If you want to come and meditate, there's going to be lots of quiet time. So you can kind of make it your own uh, as I well. I love that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then how many people did you, are you expecting on the retreat? Um, we're hoping for about a group of 25 people. That's what the retreat can hold. So we're hoping we sell out. Uh, the last retreat I did, um, we did sell out. And we were at maximum capacity. So, oh, fine. Um, can people sign up now? Yeah, people can sign up now. We have an early bird special going on until July 1st, actually. Um, so it's $2,300 for all eight days. And it includes everything except for your plane ticket there. But all your food, all of the adventures, cooking classes, spa services. So it's all inclusive. Um, and then you have up until the time to pay. So you can create um, a payment plan that works for you. We have one set up. But if you want to pay 500 down or 1000 down or 100 down, as long as you pay the amount by the time of the retreat, you're good to go. Oh, I love it. So. No, Denise is super, she's super organized and super, as you probably can tell, has tons of energy. Like the first time she came in my office, we talked for like half an hour. We were yeah. just like bouncing off each other's energy. I was it like, was oh my so gosh, she has fun. as much energy as me. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Like my husband thinks I'm crazy. I do so many things in a day. I have my bag and I'm just gone all day long. Yeah. And he's like, where are you going? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, doing massage, doing, and she's like, oh, and speak a little bit about your energy work too that you do. Um, so my grandma was a massage therapist and a Reiki master and she owned an herb shop down in Imperial Beach when I was little. So that's really what got started my love for Reiki and energy healing. I was experienced to it at a very young age. So I think it's something that's in my family and has been passed down through bloodline, which made me so receptive and open to it. Um, I love doing chakra balancing specifically with my Reiki energy because so many of us focus on weight loss and nutrition and health and our outer body, but there's this whole energetic body inside that needs to be balanced and it needs attention and we're a little bit disconnected with that part of ourselves. So I love bringing that out in people and showing them that our bodies are electric. There is energy running through them. We are solar powered. Hence the name Sun Soul Retreats. I want to invite people to get back in nature and get that rejuvenation, that energy. Um, And that's how I give my Reiki healing. I recharge with the sun. I recharge with the earth. I make sure that um, every day my palms and my feet touch some part of the earth because we're like a battery. We need to recharge. Um, How long do you do that for? Um, 
usually about 10 to 15 minutes a day. So I'll try to sit in my yard while I have my tea and make sure my feet are on the green grass, on the earth. Um, I have soil in a little pot, so I'll grab soil, rub it with my hands. Um, and since I'm so connected with energy, I can literally feel it charging. I'll close my eyes and I can feel energy coming in through my hands. Um, two different parts of my body. It's Whoa, really cool. That's super yeah. cool. No, and that's a trick for jet lag that I've actually told a couple people. It's called grounding. Oh, grounding. So exactly. it's that theory, but I was only doing it when I travel overseas, but it takes like a good hour. Like sometimes they say it's like 30 minutes, but it's like a good hour of that contact with the earth wow. to try to sink yourself back to that time zone. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a hack on, you know, having jet lag when you're yeah, traveling. Yeah, jet but. lag, that recharge that you need because travel Traveling takes so much energy out of you. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. chakras. Why don't you tell the viewers? Because we've never really talked in depth about chakras. Like, tell them, like, which chakra. Just go in the order of this okay. one, this one, this one. Yeah. So the chakras um, are energy centers in the body. And when they're spinning correctly, they spin clockwise. And um, I actually have a pendulum where I can see which ones are out. And the energy will spin my pendulum either clockwise or counterclockwise. So root chakra is the first chakra. It's red. It's moon in Sanskrit um, and that is really your grounding center that's your security that's where you're gonna feel um, you know your groundedness like after you finish school you know maybe in while you're in school going through med school you might have an unbalanced root chakra you know you're really ungrounded you're doing tons of homework um, chakra number two is the sacral chakra it's the color orange that is your your pleasure chakra your nourishment chakra that's where you're really gonna find that self-nourishment, if that is centered, you'll be in a routine of getting your massages, of doing your nutrition, of your meditations. Um, the third chakra is really one that I'm working on a lot, and that will be what my launch party is focused on this year, and that is your power chakra. Um, that was out on me for a long time, and traveling ignited that power chakra again, oh, which is nice. really cool. Um, it's uh, your solar plexus, so the color is yellow. That's where all of your creativity, your goal setting comes from. Um, up from there, of course, is the heart chakra. Everybody knows um, Ajna. That's your center for love, compassion, healing. Um, next is your throat chakra, which is the color blue, Vishuddha. And throat chakra is really about... Um, expressing yourself and that expression doesn't only come from verbal communication it could be that you have a gift to share with the world and you're not living that path or that career um, that you're chosen for and that could make your throat chakra out of balance um, next we have ajna which is the third eye and that's your intuition center so that's that gut feeling um, all of your, you know, if you're really unsure about a decision and you're feeling a lot of confusion in your life, um, more than likely Ajna is out. And the color you want to focus on for that is indigo. And then you have your crown chakra and that's um, your wisdom chakra. That's where you're going to experience enlightenment and connect with your highest and your truest self. And the color for that is violet. And we actually do um, light healing in our saunas here. So we have lights in our saunas that are connected to each of the chakras. So if you're looking to balance one of those, um, the saunas are a great way to balance those with the light the Yeah, light right, healing. the chromotherapy. The that's the chromotherapy. Mm -hmm. No, that's super cool that you walk through each one. And we have charts in the sauna, but yeah, I don't know them by heart. So yeah. I'm like, wait, which color goes which color goes? And, um, Oh, that's really neat. And then do you study crystals or stones also? Yeah, I use crystals and stones in my hand. Um, I use kyanite especially for chakra balancing. It's a full spectrum chakra balancer and it's one of four stones that does not need to ever be cleared. So I can use it on anybody and everybody and it will never retain their energy. I don't have to put it in the sun or the river to clear the person's energy. It will always stay that way. So that's my go-to. Um, for healing. Kyanite. Oh my gosh, yeah. she's so talented. And she just, she's not going to brag, but I'll brag for her. <laughs> no, she just Don't had one of our sure. VIP clients like wrote an amazing Yelp review about her, like had a massage on Friday night and was like, okay, I'm coming back or no, sorry, Thursday night. And then I'm coming back the very next morning to see Denise again. Yeah. Um, just because of not just the massage she did, but the energy work that she'll incorporate into the massage, mm -hmm. which is awesome. And you know, that person felt so rejuvenated. She was like a different person when I popped in on Friday morning to say hi to her and I'm like oh my gosh you're coming back again already the very next morning so that's a, a huge compliment to any therapist here when they
they have a rebooking mm -hmm. that's literally for the next, you see yeah. them at night, you see them again in the next morning. I was pretty impressed with myself. Yeah, you're like, Whoa. I was grateful for uh, her. She super was sweet. cool. So, so that's definitely, we love that. So with that said, Denise, what's something you personally do for your own self-care? Other than the, the stuff you do with the grounding, you know, in the yeah. you do that once a day? Um, I don't do that once a day. I have, I do a lot of different things. I do it. Um, I try to do it every day or every other day. Okay. Um, at least every other day, but sometimes I do different things. Um, I do massage. I do, uh, facials. I get Reiki healing. I travel. Um, I do landmark forum. Um, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, landmark I did it back in like 2006. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. So mental health stuff. I've tried therapy, yoga, of course, everybody talks about meditation. Yes. Um, <laughs> That's always a good on the show. Everybody, all our viewers, every single person, meditation, meditation, meditation. <laughs> um, so really, I just do as much as I can. I eat a lot of raw foods. I try to eat 51% raw food a day. Um, mm -hmm. I use the sonnets here. I use the whole body vibration. I trade therapies with as much of my healer friends as I can. Anything and everything I can get my hands on for wellness or healing, I am really all about crystals. Um, I actually have a little a little ritual that I do every morning, but I was going to kind of talk about that for on my your healthiness my health, hack. My hat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> let's do. Let's skip right to that. So, phone, yeah. Let phone me phone know in. your number one health and happiness hacks. So for the my group. number one health and happiness hacks is a little ritual that I set up, and it's um, seven step ritual in seven minutes. If you're like me, I'm really a hyper person. Um, I don't meditate for long. Even a ten minute chunk for me feels like a long time to sit oh, and be but quiet. I'm not the only I was like, people are like, let's start with 10 minutes. I'm like, 10 minutes? No, it stressed me out. We had a house challenge last month to meditate every single day. And like, and then as that house, you know, all my roommates are all business owners and they all did it. And I was like, it stressed. I didn't like it. It stressed me out. No. Like, what do you mean it stressed you out? I go, cause 10 minutes for a hyper person is it a long, feels like it feels a like nightmare. a decade. Yeah. It feels like a nightmare. 10 so minutes. So the seven, seven. Okay. Tell me about this. Maybe okay. I had to do that. The seven and seven. So not each step is one minute long. The, the ending step is four minutes to make yourself a smoothie. So that includes your healthy breakfast, that seven minutes. Okay. It includes your morning ritual and your healthy breakfast. So um, about 30 seconds, you wake up and thank the divine for being alive another day. So that's the first thing. You start off with gratitude because how many mornings do we start off our morning and we say, oh, shit, <laughs> honestly? Or how many of us have a really intimate relationship with our snooze alarm? You know, that happens. Yeah. So starting your morning just with being grateful for being alive is a really nice way to just change it up right from the beginning instead of starting off for chaos or disaster. So 30 seconds to the top. Um, Go in and spend another 30 seconds starting some water for some tea and then get a few drops of aromatherapy and take three deep breaths in of gratitude. So that's 30 seconds. Um, after which, that, scent, which, which oil do you use for that? Um, each day I use different things. Um, I have some chakra oils, so it depends on what chakra I'm working on. This morning my throat felt a little stuffy, so I use eucalyptus and peppermint. Um, if I'm having a hard time with my husband in our communication, I might use the, something for heart chakra and throat chakra, which would be sandalwood and grapefruit. Um, so those, I just, depending on what I'm doing, whatever you're feeling that day, whatever your body needs is really what you want to use. Um, so after you spend 30 seconds with breathing some aroma and essential oil, you spend 30 to 45 seconds um, stretching, maybe something simple like a forward fold. Everybody says you need to stretch every day. And honestly, sometimes I don't have five minutes to stretch, but it's really good to just get your body open and move. Even if it's for 30 seconds and it's in a forward fold, it's really helpful. Um, the next step is I use sage and palo santo every single day to clear my energy, especially because I am a healer and I do a lot of Reiki. Not only do I give Reiki energy, but I pull energy out of people. So that energy needs to be cleared um, somehow every day. So um, that's why sometimes I do the, the sage and Reiki or sometimes I'll do my feet and ground. So sometimes I need to clear my energy and sometimes I need to add energy to myself. Oh, so that's why I kind of alternate. I like that. Um, each day. So after you do a little bit of Palo Santo or some sage, um, you go back in, have your tea, take 30 seconds to write five things you're grateful for, and then four minutes to make a green smoothie in your Vitamix.
And I'll also cool. write down the seven steps and how oh, long we'll each one the of them show takes. Notes. Yeah, the yeah. show notes. But okay, mm -hmm. let me now go into the smoothie. Do you have everything like prepackaged and like you pour it in the blender real quick, or do you just have it like accessible? Do you have everything pre-cut? Um, I personally don't have everything pre-cut because I'm pretty efficient in my kitchen by this point. I think it's a great idea to have everything pre-cut, but I like to get as much raw oh, living yeah. food as possible. So I personally will choose to keep my food. Um, raw, but I think that that's a great idea. Um, I don't have children either, so um, I know that that really cuts into your time in the morning when you have small children at home. So I have the time to just grab all of it really quick. It takes me no longer than four minutes to add in all the ingredients and also wash my Vitamix and put it back. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to drink my smoothie while I get ready. <laughs> no, this is our same morning. And again, and I have friends that like, they're like, oh, I spend two hours during the week. Like, I like to ease into my, and again, to each their own. Like, different strokes for different folks, like one of my roommates says. And like, it's just, I agree with that totally. Like, if you're high energy, like, every minute to us is like, what can we do? What can we do? How can you maximize the time? Okay, can I drink my smoothie and get ready at the same time yeah, while exactly. I'm listening to a business podcast? Like, exactly. I'm literally, I am rushing out the door. Door, and everybody's like, why do you like get up and rush out? And you're like, and like, I don't have to be there by a certain time. Like, I don't, I, I want to be there by 7 a.m., but I don't, the spot isn't even open until 9, but I want to be there by 7 and I want to yeah. like rush out. Like, that's like, I like that momentum in the morning for mm -hmm. me. But some of these people might be like, yeah, right, we're not doing a smoothie yeah. for days. Like, they're just mellow, you know, they're listening mm -hmm. to some calming music, they're easing into the morning, they're drinking their coffee. Again, nothing wrong with that either. Don't think you have to be crazy no. like us. But when you're <laughs> explaining it to the minute, it, I'm like, oh my gosh, those are my, that's exactly how I operate too. Yeah, it's that's how I up. operate. And also, I wanted to show people that it, even if you don't do seven minutes or you do none of these things, it really only takes 30 seconds to do one nice thing for yourself for your morning. That's all it takes is 30 seconds to just give yourself a tiny bit of gratitude and positivity for your day. No, the gratitude's huge. Mm -hmm. And I've talked about that before with my gratitude journal. Every morning I do my gratitude journal because mm -hmm. I want to start my day with gratitude, not like, oh, I hate this. I'm mad about this. Like, I don't, I don't want to do that. So yeah. I love how you factored all that in. Seven and seven. Ooh, I'm yeah. Try. So that I'm okay with. The 10 minutes of meditation, I'm not okay with. Yeah, it's like it's still for me. I'm, like, I'm more of a moving meditation type of person. No, me too. And that's why I said, I was like, well, can running be, you and know, meditation? Like, that puts me in a meditative mm -hmm. state to run long distance or like washing my car and detailing my car. I get like really into it and it calms me, but it's physically doing something. So I was trying to get around the meditation challenge. I'm like, can I do that? And yeah. that count as meditation each morning? They're like, She's no. trying to find loopholes. No, you have to do headspace which Headspace is a great like guided meditation app for those that uh -huh. you know don't know about it. It's a great one. I love Andy. love what he's doing. Love. I mean, again, I think it's great, but it's just not, I don't know. I'm, again, I, I can try again a different time. Yeah. <laughs> 30 days is enough. Yeah, 30 <laughs> like, days me, is enough. I need a break. I need a break. So um, the next question is uh, for books. Like what's your all-time favorite book? My all-time favorite book is actually a new book that was just published last year by um, my guru, my favorite book person in the world, sad guru. Um, the book is called Inner Engineering, A Yogi's Guide to Joy. And he writes it for the American audience, I believe, because of our hyperactive world and um, all of the all of the times that we're disconnected to nature, you know, especially living in San Diego. I mean, a lot of us don't even go outside sometimes when we live in the city. Um, so I really like it because he is a very intelligent man. He's a fully enlightened being, and he speaks at um, the the world's biggest uh, science. Um, events and world peace events so he can speak to any audience and really teach these practical at-home easy to use sadhanas or self-help um, practices you can do each day and he can also communicate with the most brilliant people in the world that um, is so, so cool. he's really awesome and he has an ashram here in the US and also in India his program is called Isha Yoga it's a um, a multi-million volunteer run organization Whoa. and multi-million people. People that yeah. help? 
Yeah, that help. Oh my gosh. All volunteer run. That's so super cool. It's really amazing. So he talks about his story, um, at home care, little things you can do to ground yourself. And he also talks about some of his outreach programs that he has schools with children and he's also reforesting all of Southern India tree planting. So that's really cool. Yeah. And you said you've been to India before, right? No, I haven't been to India yet. That's oh. one of my ones that I haven't been to. Yeah. How many countries you've been, but you've traveled so much, right? I traveled. Yeah. And I've done some uh, longer trips by myself, which allowed me to visit multiple countries at once. Um, I've been to seven different countries, but that's oh, nice. it so far. And I've just, and I've done long term in, in Costa Rica. I spent eight, eight weeks there at the beginning of the year. So Whoa, that is a while. Yeah. And then, oh, okay. Yeah. So going back, so you said your grandmother was a massage therapist mm -hmm. and she did Reiki. Yeah. How about your mom? Like, is it three? Did it skip a generation or did you? Oh, it your... totally skipped a generation. My whole family. All, okay. all of my sisters are entrepreneurs and business owners, but in the accounting world and the finance world, um, oh my my sister has a financial coaching business. My mom has an accounting firm and my other sister helps her run that. So I'm kind of the weird hippie of the family. <laughs> so it so just got passed down from your grandmother. Yeah, from my grandmother. It totally skipped a generation. That's cute. And I tried to do that career for a while and go in the accounting world and nothing flowed and it was so hard and tedious and difficult and my brain just could not get it. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And then I got into this world as a healer and it was just like, I just said yes and answered emails and everything happened for me from there. So oh, love it. Cause yeah. that's your calling. So you're exactly. like, you got connected with your calling and your purpose. It sounds like exactly. That's yeah. exactly what happened. Awesome. And then how can they get in touch? How could our viewers get in touch with you as far as for the retreat? Like what's oh, the website yeah. or how do they find um, more information? We don't have a website up yet. We're still working on our website, but you can email us um, at sunsoulretreat619 at gmail.com. We also have a lot of information on our Instagram page at sunsoulretreats and our Facebook page is sunsoulretreat619. Yay, perfect. Well, thank you so much, yeah. Denise, for coming on. Love having the Eco Chateau members on. We've had a couple already. And so for our viewers, like I said, we'll have a lot of stuff in the show notes, the seven and seven, the um, best way to email Denise for that retreat, which again is in April, 2018. I have it on my calendar, so yeah. I should be able to make it too, which would be a lot of fun. I'm excited. And uh, yeah, so you guys can leave comments below. Make sure to like this video, spread the word about the wellness show. We always appreciate that. Um, making everybody healthy and happy all over the world, right? Not yeah. just locally in San Diego. Globally. Global. Okay. Thanks, Thank you guys. you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.